Uh, we've seen sort of a, a wild move in Bitcoin. And I'm, I'm curious what your take is, both on what we just heard about what's happening in China, but, but also what we're hearing about what's happening in El Salvador. Is that a credentializing mechanism or is that something that says, OK, hold on here? Yeah, I mean, it's certainly been a very exciting week. I just came back from Miami where this announcement was was, was first made about El Salvador making Bitcoin legal tender. We now have our first country that's really embracing this in this way. They're going to be the first of many. Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Fed in March of this year, stated that Bitcoin is more of a substitute for gold than the dollar. So what does that mean? Well, central banks around the world um, are holding the dollar as a reserve asset, and they're also holding gold as a reserve as a reserve asset. And then the next logical step is we will see central banks substituting gold for uh, uh, Bitcoin for gold. Um, so the, the question you should be asking, who's going to be the first central bank to do that? And eventually all these dominoes are going to fall. And what we're going to see is Bitcoin becoming a reserve asset.